Hello folks, welcome to another video. Um, we're back in Scotland today. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, in Scotland, in the I guess in the mid 20th century, um, there was these new towns were built. You know, I guess they were meant to, at the time they were meant to be the the pinnacle of modern modern living. Big big new houses, inside toilets, hot running water, um, spacious rooms, all that kind of stuff. Um, but they very quickly kind of again the reputation has been run down, grey, dreary. Um, that kind of place. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go to these places now. I'm gonna go to a place called East Kilbride. Um, it's just outside Glasgow. Um, it was actually the first new town. I think it was the first new town in the Glasgow area. Um, so we're gonna go there um, and we're gonna see what it's actually like. The reason I'm doing this and um, the reason I'm curious about it is because I know quite a few people that live in East Kilbride and they love it there. Um, so it kind of goes against what the reputation that I've always thought is. Um, you know, the good places like Eastcote Bride, Cumbernauld, um, Livingston. Um, so this is almost like a, a, a debunking video. Debunking the myth that Eastcote Bride's a dump. And hopefully we'll, we're just about to find out that it isn't. Um, but we'll, st we'll start with the, with the new town part. We're going to go to a place called the Murray. Um, which is kind of um, on this side of Eastcote Bride. We'll come to that first. Welcome to East Kilbride. Twinned with something, I don't remember quite what that. <laughs> oh, it's just called Murray. It's funny because in maps and stuff like that, it seems to be called the Murray. So I don't know if it's Murray or the Murray. I guess if you know the answer to that, then let, let me know in the comments below. There we are, coming into it. Yep, this is a typical council in the west coast of Scotland. Yeah, apparently from the information we're just reading there, um, the Murray is actually the first of the new towns in East Scotland. So I guess it would be a good place to start this little tour. So there's that because it's Sunday everywhere's closed. This is Murray Bar or the Murray Bar. Murray Bar. A few takeaways along here, an Indian, a Chinese. Well, I say an Indian, it looks more like a, like a kebab shop. I 
All right, well, that was the centre of the Murray. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't really somewhere I could stop of it and have a bite of lunch, so we'll press on. Press on and see what's further along. If you've been to Glasgow, or if you know Glasgow, then you'll know Bray Head and you'll know Silver, Silverburn. Uh, I'm, sure a fair few, fair few, I'm sure a fair few of you will know the Olympia Centre in East Kilbride. This is where we've come to. Anyway, that was the Olympia Centre or whatever it's called these days, I think it's called the Hub or the EK Centre or something like that. I'm not sure it's called the Olympia, um, but to be honest it could be any mall anywhere. I'm going to go now and see if I can find something else. See if I can find something that's more of a kind of traditional old town. Rick is with me now and we've parked at East Cobride train station. We're going to the little town centre and see what it's like. I gather it's quite nice. The town centre was quite pleasant and our lunch was quite nice, but it wasn't so big, so we moved on fairly quickly. Alright, I've come to a place called Lime Kilns, which is one of the other parts of the town, one of the newer parts. Um, it's not part of the original new town. It's quite a nice, quite a nice estate actually, I like this kind of dark red build of the house, almost like a smoky colour. Nice new built houses here. much detail to go into here. I'd imagine driving about a fairly new housing estate is going to get pretty boring after a, a fairly short while so
Okay, here we are, Calder Glen Park. Um, Calder Glen Park, was just, or Calder Glen Park Gardens or something like that. Um, let's see what this is like. This is just outside East Kilbride. This is one of these places that you've always known about but never really been here before. Um, I really love it, to be honest. A lot, a lot nicer than I expected it to. an old house of some kind. Yeah, this reminds me of Rook and Glen a wee bit. It's worth mentioning, unlike some of the other places we come to visit, it's free parking here. That's good. And so ended the little trip to explore what East Kilbride has to offer. Just like any other town, it has its nice parts and its not so nice parts. While I wouldn't necessarily be rushing off to book my holidays here, it certainly has got enough to offer if you find yourself in the area with an hour or two to spare. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy watching our videos then please hit the like button and subscribe for more content.